Hi, I'm Derek Melber, Technical Evangelist for the AD Solutions team here at Manage Engine. In this video, I want to discuss some of the delegation capabilities that are built into AD Manager Plus. Now, the AD delegation capabilities are much more powerful than you get with the normal Microsoft tools such as Active Directory users and computers. Let's set up a small scenario. In this scenario, we're going to have a user, the finance manager, which is going to be granted the delegated capability of disabling users that are only in the finance organizational unit. Now, in order to do this, we really have a three-step process. Now, step number one is we're going to come down here to the help desk roles, which is under the AD delegation. I have already created this help desk role, which is, as you see here, disable user. And it clearly states that we are going to be able to manage the user account for what you can clearly see here is enable or disable. So that's going to be the first step that we want to set up. Now that we have the role set up, basically what they can do, now we have to specify who can perform that task. So I'm going to create a new technician. The technician is someone that has the ability to do these tasks. Now you'll see here that I have a user called finance manager. And I am going to give the finance manager the ability to disable the user. And then I want to narrow this. This is one of the most important aspects of this. I want to narrow exactly where they can control the users, which is in the finance organizational unit. And then I save this, and now we're set. Now, one of the things that I want to show you back on this page where we just configured the technician is a couple of very important settings. First of all, we are impersonating this particular task as an admin. This means that we are not modifying any of the Active Directory permissions. We're only doing a proxy from AD Manager Plus into Active Directory. What this does is it does not modify any of the permissions, so we really don't have to worry about what changed in Active Directory. We can always go to AD Manager Plus and see exactly what power someone has. So that's step number two. Now, step number three is we're actually logged on here as Finance Manager, and because AD Manager Plus really doesn't have a client installation piece, it's really just web-based, we are just going to go here to our server name with 8080, which is the default port. Here, we are going to log in as the finance manager, and we are going to log in as the finance manager. Now, very important here, when the finance manager logs on, the finance manager is going to have a limited view of what they can control. Now the limited view here is very different than what you just saw in the configuration of the delegation. I only have as the finance manager what has been delegated to me. Since it's only what's delegated to me, that's all I see in the tool. If I grant this user more capabilities, those will show up. If I deny those capabilities, then those will go away in this view. So here you can clearly see that once I set that I'm going to disable this, now I see only the users that are in this particular organizational unit. So with the delegations, I can control what the user can do, who can control that task, and then once that user that I've given the delegation to logs on and accesses AD Manager Plus, they only have those capabilities. This has been Derek Melber. Thanks for watching.